This one's going to be interesting, isn't it? Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Robot Boy. And in this video, I'm going to be reading through IGN comments about No Man's Sky next. Now, IGN comments have been kind of infamously known to be just like a cesspit of hate for No Man's Sky. So with next out, and they've made a post about it as well on their YouTube page, sort of asking you to share your thoughts about it. And I want to read these thoughts and just see. And I'm, you know, I'm wary about jumping in. Um, usually it's about 98% hatred all the time. So let's jump in and see what has either stayed the same or if anything's changed. So Bubble Buster says, with 417 likes, I didn't play it the first go around, but people's positive comments are luring me in. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, generally, it's hard to deny that the general outlook generally from different media sites has been that, yeah, the game is good now. Some people obviously still don't love it, but I think generally the consensus is No Man's Sky is a playable, fully functioning game which it, and, and it's appealing like it's now it's no longer like uh you need to love it to the core to really like really love it you you can be like it's a fully functional experience from the ground up and if you happen to fall in love with it then that's great on top of that but the game itself works now and the positive comments are being shared around a lot in general and i guess this kind of counts as one but yeah this guy or girl seems very interested reesey ream says jumped back in yesterday with my mate and these updates have made all the difference. This is the game we wanted. It's now brilliant with 100 likes. So, now bearing in mind, I'm reading the top comments. From, and so, here we go. Yeah. Well, first of all, yeah, this is the fact that people can play with friends, I think, is a great way to appeal to more people. I think that was a smart move by Hello Games. Imagine if they added all the stuff in with Next, aside from multiplayer. The game would still be great. Everything in it is incredible. There's so much content now. But... Playing with friends is a selling point, especially in this day and age that people look for and just some people don't like playing on their own. A lot of people now like to experience stuff with friends and for example, my friend has bought the game because it's multiplayer and he can play with me. So that's a great way of enticing people. It's got this guy back in and he says this is the game we wanted. It's now brilliant. Well, that's a great review. James West says, for those of you saying you won't touch it, I understand why, but from my little experience with it and from what others said, I'd say it's actually worth a try. I think that's a common thing as well. People were so disdained from the initial launch that they just don't want to even care about it, read about it, let alone touch it or play it. And yeah, obviously it's understandable. Like, jet people, yeah, I, I get it. Like, I, I get it. You're still hurt from it, whatever, but you can't deny that the game is worth a try now. It's, it's worth a try. Bob Esbach says... Bought this game for Xbox today and I love it. Again, Xbox community being involved is another way of bringing players into it. People, Some people just haven't had access to it at all. Some people don't have PlayStation 4 or PC, they just have an Xbox, so the game has literally been out of reach for them even if they wanted to play it. So the fact that people can play on Xbox is now drawing in more people and the community is expanding. And Bob loves it. The game is so much fun, especially with friends. There you go, that multiplayer coming in again handy. Retro Red says <laughs> top 10 anime comebacks with almost a thousand likes, which I'm, well, yeah, I mean, it's true. It's uh, the redemption, the redemption of No Man's Sky. I've seen that around a lot, big headlines, titles from these big gaming sites, GameSpot, etc. The redemption of No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is worth playing now, all this stuff. Yeah, it's comeback, biggest comeback. Not biggest, but well, certainly a big comeback. Marvin, there you go, Marvin. I never stopped playing it, A. Hey, an original player from day one. Respect to you, Marvin. Phil Swiftly says 7.8 out of 10, not enough water. Yeah, it's just a running joke about IGN's rating system. Andrew Ataku says, we all know it's still 50% hype, 45% trash, 5% actual okay gameplay, and 100% anti-consumer. I don't even know where to begin in breaking down how overtly incorrect all of this is. So let's just kind of sum it up with it's this is just nonsense the hype i get there's a lot of hype i don't know about now i don't know if you're speaking about launch if you're talking about launch i would kind of i would understand where this is coming from but if you're talking about this you're saying it's still it's not still it's definitely not still 100 percent anti-consumer yes hello games worked two years releasing free updates because they're anti-consumer mm -hmm. also the percentages here just don't add up are you rating it out of 200 percent i don't know Anyway, 
Maths isn't obviously a strong point here. Police159 says, it's worth the $50 and I've already put 27 hours into it. It's my summer break, so dot dot dot. Well, I mean, if you've just bought the game now and you've already put 27 hours into it since next released, then wow, well done. It's worth the $50 now. I, I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> I still think it's not worth full price. Oh, actually, I don't know how much that translates, to be honest. Is that is $50 full price? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, in America, it might be, I think it's 80. No, I know it's. I know in Canada, it's $80. What's a full price game worth in the US nowadays? $50, like if it's on sale here, like at the moment, I think it's 30 quid in the UK. Yeah, for 30 quid, this game is worth it, everything. I still don't know if it's worth like full full price, like 55 pounds. I don't know how they could go back to charging that again. 30 pounds, 50 dollars. Yeah, that works out about right, doesn't it? 50 dollars, 30 pounds. Yeah. And 27 hours into it, it's my summer break, so I imagine that is gonna go up and up. Dean Kelly says, I would, but my girlfriend won't let me play. She's been playing it on my Xbox since release. Oh wow, okay, so that's why. Fair enough. Well, there you go. The love is real. Everyone's loving it, and everyone just wants to have a go playing. Vainable says, you mean no man's lie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's, it's so, it's so original. It's, it's so, it's so funny that I, I can't even laugh because it's so funny. And I've never heard it before. And it's, this is still relevant two years later it's it's just it's just incredible love it i'll see you at the apollo mate sebastian blanco says i started playing two days ago i was surprised to see all my tech was gone but everything changed so much that i think it was for the best now my son and i are having tons of fun that's cute isn't that just cute so obviously um we said started playing but by the sounds of it sebastian is uh what was playing before but I agree, I think the changes are all for the best with mining, crafting, and technology I think is much more streamlined now and much more enjoyable the way it's been shuffled up. Um, and yeah, the fact that you're having fun with your son playing it is great. I I've been playing it with my girlfriend actually. Um, she's made her own creative mode save. We've got her own character that's all customized the way she wants and we built a little, built a little cabin by uh, this little lake somewhere and it's really cool, it's, it's now fun that more people are getting to enjoy this game and because of the um, the more possibilities in the game of how to play it more people are being drawn to it for specific reasons because there's just so much you can do in the game avalier plays says the differences and changes are like night and day i haven't touched the game in a year and so far i think the potential that was there in the beginning has been reached hope they keep the updates coming well first of all if you don't know the updates are coming and they're going to be consistently coming and they're going to be coming for free so there you go and the changes are yeah they are well yeah when i first loaded up the game everything was so different the mining the general mechanics the outlook on things the elements the third person the way that the story starts off now the way that the missions introduce themselves to you everything is so different but it's all for the better i believe as i say more streamlined experience I believe the potential has been reached. This is where it kind of, if it launched like this, it would have been like, wow, okay. It's still a bit meh, but it's got everything in it that we would want. And from now on, it's just, yeah, updates coming. It's gonna expand on the now fully realized version of the game. And lastly, Wookie Warrior says, gonna get it and build giant fleets and bases with friends taking over the galaxy. Star Wars style. It's so cool. That's something that I'm really enjoying about this update. You can really sort of role play it now however you want. Do you want to build up a giant fleet and take over the galaxy Star Wars style? You can. Do you want to build up your star fleet and go and land on planets and save people? Be a sort of Star Trek Enterprise type mission or be solo or be an architect and build bases purely just doing that. You can do whatever you want in the game and that's what I'm loving about it. But yeah, the Star Wars style is, is so cool. The fact that that's even possible in a game that you can literally build up a star fleet and go around destroying galaxies and taking over and all that, it's it's awesome. So that's it everyone, we're gonna leave it there for today, reading the IGN comments. Surprisingly, an overwhelming amount of positive comments. People looking to get the game, people recommending the game, saying that everything's been improved. There are some people that seem to be stuck in a time loop. Again, no genuine complaints, just literally reiterating negativity that's been circling on the internet for years just because it's fun, I guess. Anyway, I'm amazed to see the general overall positive outlook changing 
for No Man's Sky and Hello Games. I think they deserve it, they definitely do, and I'm glad for their sake, most of all, that they can actually sort of go on Twitter now and not be harassed because they've finally delivered on the game. So, we're going to end it there. What do you think about No Man's Sky next? Please leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below this video, and you might get featured in a Things People Say About Next video later on in the next few weeks. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and do subscribe to join me on this journey if you haven't done so already. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.